Hello, this is Michael from Beyond 20, and today we're going to discuss a uncommon issue on how to fix um, your scope settings if you're unable to modify your scope settings when you're doing a dependency checker. Um, one of the things that you will occasionally do is when you find dependencies, um, when you're trying to look to see what's connected within Sharewell, uh, the dependency checker will return back things that are linked to the item that you're searching on, be it a business object, a one step, an expression, a field. Um, this is useful for telling you how things are connected. And once this runs, it gives you the ability to search um, throughout the entire system in different scopes looking for dependencies. Now, once this comes up here, I'll show you what we're talking about here. Um, once this finishes scanning these objects here. Now, I just happen to choose configuration items, so that way you would get an idea of that there's a lot of things linked to this particular item. And as you can see here, it has a lot that is linked to that particular item. Now, down here, we have our scopes, which tells it you know what scopes are we searching in so by default it's only going to usually search the blueprint blueprint global enroll scopes but you can have it search the team and user now if by chance when you run this you come across an error when you run the dependency checker now this system doesn't have the error um, thankfully, uh, but when it comes back, usually it would pop up an error in the middle of the search. Now, if it searches the global scopes and the other scopes correctly without issue, but it just doesn't search team and user, I'm going to show you where you can go into the settings and modify that because it's not something that you can actually access from within Sharewell. This is actually stored in the SQL table under Trebuchet settings. So we'll wait for this to finish here just so I can show you here. Now normally if you got an error of some kind it would say like there was an error in def scope and then it would tell you what scope there was in. What you can do is pull up your SQL and we're going to close this out and we are going to go to our SQL here and we are going to go now this is just a demo czar all right and we are going to go to the trebuchet settings table and this is where this information is stored so we're just going to pull up all the records because since this is the demo czar um, you'll see there's actually 360 records here so this table stores a lot of different information. Now the particular type of record we're going to look for, so we're gonna to go to def name. And it's called def depend for dependency. Now this will come back and tell us how many records that actually have of this type here. And you'll see there's currently only one. All right. And it's assigned to this following user here. Now, just so you can verify this user is the user that I'm actually logged into the system with. Okay. But you may come back with multiple entries and what you would want to do is you would want to cross reference to find the exact user. So you would take this record ID and then you would cross reference it with the user info table. And you would then make sure that the user info matches up with your logged in user. So you would just do something like this. Let's re-execute that. 
and there you go. So we're logged into the database as CSD admin. All right, so this record going back to the def depends in the trebuchet settings, the string that actually holds this information is in the def details. So if I copy this information and paste it out here so you can see it, there is a section in here where it says scopes to use. And so you'll notice here has the, the text there where I added the team and user scopes. So let's go ahead and close this blueprint and let's exit out of the system here, okay? So we've logged out of the admin client. Now what we would have to do is if we wanted to clear this information is we basically have to remove this part of the text that we want to remove for whatever is causing the error. And so what we would have to do is remove that part of the text. And this can be done several different ways in SQL, mind you. So there's not um, just a single way to do this. But what you would do then is with that corrected text, what you're going to do is you're going to update trebuchet settings. So we're just going to tell it to update the table. And then we're going to tell it to set def details. And we're going to tell it to equal this value. Now, basically, what this whole thing is doing is just it's basically replacing the value that's in that field with what we have here in the quotes. Now, this is the value that we copied out. So the only part that's different is where we remove this information between the scopes to use section here. All right. Um, so we're going to set the depth details equal to this value, but we need to now clarify which records we want to update. Okay. So we're going to use a where clause and we're going to do def name equals def depend. And because if we had multiple records, we don't want to uh, run this against everything that would be bad so we want to just run this against a single record so we're going to do the def scope owner because this will be a unique identifier and we can grab that information right here copy and let's go ahead and put that in here now this will ensure that it's only going to update one record when we run this okay and I'm going to execute that one row affected now then if we go in here and we execute this if we go to our def details we're going to copy that now when we paste it and we look we're going to see that that information is no longer there so in the sql table it has now stripped out the team and user now what we'll do is we'll verify this by going back into shero and the reason why we're doing this, doing this is so it reloads the settings definition there. Um, so that's the reason why we closed it and reopening it. So it pulls in the trebuchet settings values. If you're currently logged into it, it's not going to recognize it. So that's why it's important to actually close out of the admin client and go back in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to a blueprint and we are going to do the dependency checker and you will notice once this completes that the scopes that it ran on will not include team or user. Um, so just give it here a few seconds, probably about 30 seconds for this to finish. And um, this is very helpful in helping um, troubleshoot an issue we had uh, that I had personally. So. And do recommend that you make sure that you are making these changes lightly. This isn't something you just want to go in. Because um, when you're dealing with SQL, you do run into the problem of if you make pro uh, changes in SQL, you can cause catastrophic issues if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but down here, you will see the scope team and user is missing now. And that is how you fix the issue. Thank you and uh, have a great day.